This video is sponsored by Google Play. Hello and welcome to the video. Today we are going to play Brawlhalla. Again, big, big thank you to Google Play for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be playing with Rico the Giant and we're going to be playing some 1v1 and also part of the new Walking Dead map that they have going on in the new Walking Dead game mode. That new game mode and three Walking Dead characters are out right now, so if you go in the link in the description, you can go and check those out. Also, if you download Brawlhalla using the link in the description down below, you can get five Google Play points, and those are reward points which you can redeem for uh, in-game items or play credit as well. So, what is Brawlhalla? It is an awesome fighting game that is on mobile. It has 50 legends and counting. When I opened up the game for the first time, I was actually really, really surprised with how many different characters they have. A huge, huge roster of characters, as well as over 20 game modes and a ton of really awesome maps as well. You can also cross play with all platforms. So mobile, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and iOS, which is great. So no matter what your other friends play on, you guys can all play together. Up to eight players can also play at one time, so it doesn't have to just be you and one friend doing 1v1. You can do that if you want, but also you can play with up to eight people, which is pretty sweet. Brawlhalla is also just known for its awesome crossovers. Like I said, they are doing a crossover for The Walking Dead right now, so you can get Michonne and Daryl and Rick Grimes in the game as playable characters, and you can also play the new uh, Walking Dead game mode as well. Rico, are you ready to have the biggest, most, ferocious battle of your life. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's just do a couple normal matches to start off. We'll get into that fancy, that new, that new fancy one. Yeah, that horde mode. I'm ready for that. All right, I'm going to do Rayman and I'm going to do Rick's hatchet. Hey, man. Let's see okay. What we, yeah, see what we get with that. I'm going to do Jiro with Michonne's katana. I will try to not die. There's no guarantees. This You're game... playing against me, so it, it might be tough. It might be tough. See, it's just tough because I have my I have my camera in front of my hands, and so if I lose, that's the that's the reason why. Nah, no, nah, that sounds like some excuses, my guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> no excuses, no excuses. All right, I've got some heavy hitting questions for you. Okay, okay. Are you ready to answer to the best of your ability? Hit me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. There's one death down. Do you prefer 1v1 or free-for-all? Every time I play Brawlhalla, it's always about this right here, the 1v1s. The 1v1. 1v1's intimidating, though, because then you gotta really, like, you gotta really prove your skills, you know? That is true. That is true. But at the same time, I don't like playing in free-for-all matches. And I'm focusing on one person, and then somebody is behind me just no, hitting no, me, you know? No. <laughs> this is such an easy game for you. I'm doing horrible. Out of uh, the three Walking Dead characters that came out, which one were you most excited for? Uh, I think I was probably most excited for Michonne, because she was one of my favorite characters in the show. Um, okay. Uh, she, was, she was one of my I favorites, and that's the game. <laughs> I already died. I already died. Oh my gosh. But yeah, she was one of my favorites too, for sure, for sure. Speaking of Michonne, I think I'm gonna pick Michonne right now. You're gonna do Michonne? Yeah, I'm yeah. Be... Oh, Grin. Yeah, this this old dude with the big axe. That's what I'm going for. You are a little bit of a veteran in Brawlhalla. You you played it back when it back when it first yeah. came out, right? Yeah. What is your uh, technique for getting better at Brawlhalla faster? For all the people at home that want to know. How to be okay. as good as Rico. How, okay. does he, how does he do it? When I first got on this game, it was tough. And what I did was I would, I would, I picked my favorite character, which was Jiro. And I would watch all the pros that use him. Not really copy their play style, but adapt it, you know, with yeah. my play style. Emulate a little bit. And then, yeah, uh, yeah. And then make it your own. I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid. I'd love to, I'd love to win a match. I'm not going to this time. If you could suggest uh, a Brawlhalla crossover, what would you want? So we just got we just got The Walking Dead, which is pretty sick. I need some Marvel characters. I need like Spider-Man or Wolverine would be nice on here actually. Ooh. Now that I'm thinking about it. Wolverine is my is my favorite. I love Wolverine. So yeah, yeah. Much. I, That'd be sick. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that would be crazy on here. Get him different skins too. Like you can have like the classic like yellow and black and blue suit. Yeah. Then, like, that is such a good crossover. They definitely need to do Marvel characters. I yeah, I think I think that would be one round two. 
<laughs> uh, I, I'll cut you some slack because you are looking through the camera, right? I am. I'm gonna go Rick this time. Get the Walking Dead okay. characters in there. If you could own any of the Legends items in real life, like any of the weapons, mm -hmm. which one would it be? I know that this sounds like it's a cop out, but it's true. I would love to own Michonne's uh, katana. I always thought that that was the coolest weapon in in The Walking Dead. Was that she was just going around killing zombies with a katana? It was yeah. so cool. All right, we're we're one and one. It okay, all comes okay. down to this, baby. Let's go. It all comes down to this. And we're just missing. <laughs> Which base legend in this game, right? Mm -hmm. The non crossover ones. Do you think would be a good zombie hunter? Oh, oh in the apocalypse. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> with the with the dub, with the dub. I think Nash would be a really good zombie hunter. Two things. One, okay. he's like half tiger, or is he just wearing a tiger head? I don't know. He looks like he's part tiger. And I feel like zombies might not pay attention to a tiger as much, maybe. Or maybe they would, I don't know. Hmm. But I feel like he could just rip them apart. He's got real big, strong hands. He can just rip the zombies apart or with those giant teeth. Let's get it going. Le let's do it. Let's go. So for those of you at home, this game mode is just uh, you're fighting off waves of zombies. So yeah, yeah. you're just going until you die. Come on, man. Yo, I wanted to fight you with my bow for a second. I thought we were still doing the other one. <laughs> no, we have to work as a team now. We have to work as a team. Okay, okay, okay. I need to make sure I don't fall off the map. So, you know, we're playing on the, on the telephone. You know, it's a, mm -hmm, a good mm -hmm. old telephone. What's mm -hmm. the weirdest place or most unexpected place that mm -hmm. you played a mobile game? Because when you're at home, you can play whatever game you can play on your PC, you can play on console. Yeah, yeah. I don't do a ton of mobile gaming at home. Most of the time, it's like out and about when I'm not connected to the console or my, or my PC. Back when I was younger and mm -hmm. all I had was my phone, mm -hmm. I think the most unexpected place was probably in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> and let me explain. Let me explain That's why. so funny. <laughs> yeah, let me explain why. So, uh, there was this game called Subway Surfers back then that oh, I was I like really. They they had these limited edition characters that were only there for like a week, I think. So you had to really grind the game to unlock these yeah. items to get each character. So I would play it literally nonstop, twenty four seven, even in the shower. I had to unlock each character, <laughs> show off to my friends at school. It's so funny. Of all your twenty four years of life, what is your proudest? gaming accomplishment i think my proudest gaming moment my brother and i played a lot of video games as a kid and that was kind of my introduction to video games one of the games that we played a ton of was tony hawk pro skater 4 so we would always like we would always play horse or we would always just like see who could, who could get the highest uh scores and so i think one of my proudest ones was just beating his high score on tony hawk pro skater finally becoming the master of the ps2 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, no, it's always... I oh, I died. I didn't even realize. No! You have to carry oh. on! No! <laughs> no, I don't know if I can do this! If you could game with anyone, living or dead, who would it be and why? I want to play a fighting game with Napoleon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I want him, one, to see what video games are, and two, I feel <laughs> like he'd be a real tryhard and just get really ragey. And yeah, yeah, real really salty. Funny. Yeah, he's a salty gamer for sure. <laughs> oh! I'm gone. I'm gone. They got oh. me out of there. <laughs> well, that does it for this video. Again, huge, huge thank you to Google Play for sponsoring this video. It was so much fun playing Brawlhalla. Again, The Walking Dead crossover is out now. Follow the link in the description below, uh, and you can download Brawlhalla and check out those new characters, as well as the new survival mode they have. Also, go down and check out Rico. It was super fun playing with him. Uh, this was the first time that we've played stuff together, uh, and it was super fun. So go check him out. Show him some love as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks, Google Play, for supporting the channel and supporting what I do. All right. See you later. Bye. What is up, my crazy crew?